play as a Russian. I think the mainline guest goes takes takes, which is already not that good. Because after queen e2, queen e2, I can just take, and after here, I can just go d4. That's what I remember. So let's go here. Defense it. Interesting. So now I think I just go d3. d3, queen here. And this takes, takes. Hmm. What about f3, queen e2, and I'll go d4. Or likewise, three here in f5. This just walks into this, right? Hmm. This is interesting. Let's go back to what we've initially taught, d3. Queen e7. After takes, takes, we can take another pawn. Cannot take back the queen. Cannot take back as this is pinned to this line. All right, let's give it a go. Yeah, so queen e7 was indeed what we expected to come. So I'm taking out takes, takes and take here. What does come after that? I guess he just takes here, we take back. And he will take this pawn via ways of how. I think we're just doing pretty good there. All right, so now we take back, he probably plays queen bishop e7. We could play c4 there, but I think it's more important to develop the pieces, maybe if I have a nice c3. Yeah, because we're up the pawn, which is pretty solid. d6 instead of d7, that does make more sense. It, I do feel more inclined to push here. And then go here. We can also just castle, which does feel like the way to go. We can always defend this pawn via bishop f3, if needed. You would probably take it like this. That's what I'm expecting. And in that time, you can already push p. You can also defend this pawn. So let's calculate bishop e3, knight e7. C4, not here. Taking the pawn, bishop f3, bishop f5, knight c3. It does seem like a pretty promising position to me. And if we want to look at other lines, this is indeed what we expected. C4, under here, c3, c4, d1, okay, we place this. So, you're not really threatening c5 at any point. Let's just develop a knight here. Maybe go to b4. Let's just continue pushes. I'll just go for this knight. No. Goes there. The knight has improved, but it's very well uh, controlled by the bishop. And if we take, we take back, and his pawn structure is essentially ruined. We can play a3, we can play d3. So uh, let's say, takes, takes. Mm -hmm. This knight is now undefended. No, it's defended by the pawn, which is just enough. Um, we could shy it away with f4. Hmm. Not sure. 
Cannot just play slow moves, but I'm not a favorite of that. But I do think getting the bishop here um, will benefit us. But I've been thinking about this position for a little bit. And I can't seem to reach a good conclusion. Well, the knight is a bit annoying here. We could just play this. There's no big black squares. I think we can just play this. Game more space. All right, and knight goes back. So the open fell is definitely here. Yeah, and we want to put our pieces there, so to say. This does seem like a way, this does seem like a way. But the problem is that this is then undefended. So maybe we should stabilize here. Let's go here, maybe bishop here, here, and here. I think that's the way to go. Because then, valid. You can just now push this G pawn and stop him from infesting my position too much. And then we can push more, I think. Okay. Let's put the rook over, maybe. I didn't expect this move, honestly. Could also try to push this one. I don't know, but the bishop has now slightly improved, which is kind of problematic, and we didn't incorporate in our plans. Let's go here. Let's put the rook on the open file. Okay, let's a slow move. Interesting. Um, I think the trade of bishop does not make our position that bad. Okay. If you go here, he has to take. But the thing is, like, this pawn is the weakness. Okay, let's just make a slow move for now. I want to put my king here. If it takes, we take back with the bishop for a little second. But he goes there instead. It's actually could be favorable for us because now we just got to the sides. And we'll just can just take, I think. This knight essentially looks a bit trapped. Can always play b3. Okay, goes there. We'll just start our plan with trying to get this pawn. You have to hurry up as the clock is running down. It goes back. Taking this pawn. Um, I think we just push here then. There. What is he trying to do? I'm not quite sure. Let's just go after this pawn now. The defense of this way. Wow. Okay, but now I feel like I can do all this and then push this one. Can I not? Here, takes, push. If it takes, I take. That's, that's, that's interesting. I think we're just gonna go for the tactic. And if it takes, we just go front. 
And the question is, of course, how does he stop it? How do, yeah, how do you do anything in this position? The king is cut off. Um, this is, we sacrificed the pawn that we already had. And yeah, I just think this is just winning. And two minutes now becomes plenty to convert. As previously, uh, we weren't sure that we would convert in time or even get a good position. And we did this by uh, trying to control our opponent's pieces as much as we could. All right. Maybe I spoke too soon, but I don't think so. We have a nice, a nice tactic. King has to go back and then here. Yeah. So we cannot promote as the knight just takes, takes, and takes. We do have this nice little tactic. Now you just go back, we give a check. And after it takes with the queen, and we couldn't previously do this because the king was there. And after, you know, here, check, there, there, there's takes. Now I'll just take like this. And then we just go rook here and the takes here. Oh, we just left. Yeah, that's also possible. All right, guys, that's uh, the game. Thank you guys for watching.